So we've seen a 20 or more percent decline in the number of homes that sold in 2023. But was it really a decline? Stay tuned and I will compare 2023 to 2019 and share some reality with you. So in 2023, we sold a total of 5,531 homes in the Fredericksburg area. In 2019, we sold just under 7,000 homes. So if we were to compare 2023 to 2019, so that was pre-COVID, we are down 21% in the number of homes that have sold, but our population has increased substantially since 2019. You know, when COVID hit in 2020 and people were stuck at home, people really wanted more land, more space, an in-home office, a yard for their children to play in. We were stuck at home and staying in a condo in Northern Virginia just was not conducive to the lifestyle that these folks needed to live. So our population increased dramatically and at the same time our inventory increased dramatically. And then all of a sudden in 2022, we started to see interest rates increase. When the interest rates increased, it started to make inventory start to decline. And we did have the third lowest inventory on the market at the end of December of 2023 than we've had in any other December in the last 20 years. But an interesting fact is on average, over the last 20 years in the Fredericksburg area, 5,675 houses sell a year. So we're actually only 144 houses less than what the average has been for the last 20 years. Isn't that very interesting? So we actually still are having a pretty robust market. In 2023, the average single family home price was just under 500,000 at $494,648. In 2019, it was $342,918. So on average, a single family home, your value went up $150,000 from where you could sell it in 2019 to what you could sell it for today. That is an 11% increase every single year. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think the stock market has had returns like that every single year. So 11% every single year. Now, 11% is abnormal. That is high. On a normal year, your real estate value will go up between 3 and 7%. So those years, it went up a lot. Listen to this. Townhomes or attached homes, condos, townhomes. Average price last year, 2023, $371,973. In 2019, it was just over 250000 So those values have gone up $120,000 which is 12% a year. So if you bought a condo in 2019 for 250,000 bucks, it's probably worth 370 or something dollars these days. And that is 120,000 in equity that you have. And I'm pretty certain if you bought then and you still own your property, you probably refinance at a very low interest rate. So not only do you have amazing equity in your property, you also have a very low payment and that is gonna keep you in that property. Time on market, how much time does it take to sell? Well, in 2023, it took 27 days to sell. In 2019, which was a normal year, it took 42 days to sell. So throughout the year, the time on market does ebb and flow, or the fastest time on market is typically in the late springtime, early summertime, and the longer time on the market is in the winter months. So if we do creep towards a longer time on market, just understand, in 2019, it was 42 days. Average is 90 days. So it was still half of what average was in 2019. And we're about half of where it is right now. Uh, so time on market, don't panic if it starts to get longer. I don't think it will this year, uh, but just to put it in perspective. At the end of December, there were 588 detached homes on the market and only 58 attached properties. 
on the market. Compare that to 2019, end of December, 1,124 detached homes on the market and 78 condos, townhomes on the market. So at the end of December of 2023, we had 48% fewer homes available on the market than we did in 2019. And we had 26% fewer attached homes on the market than we did in 2019. So inventory is still really low, but we're still selling the average number of homes a year. So how is that happening? How it's happening is most of the houses that are on the market are selling. If they're priced right, if they look good, they're in a good neighborhood and there's good agents on both sides, the house is gonna sell. It might take a little bit longer than it has in the past, but the house is gonna sell. The difference with 2019 is we had homes that were overpriced, homes that were not presented well, homes that had deferred maintenance, had not been taken care of. We also still had some short sales and foreclosures in that market, whereas we really don't have many of those right now. So the market was a little bit different back then. It was a little bit more of a buyer's market than it is right now. But with the low inventory going into 2024, it is a seller's market, folks. Last Wednesday, first Wednesday of the year, that's when all the buyers started to show up. Interest rates are inching their way down to 6.5% right now. 6.5% is that sweet spot where it absolutely is cheaper to buy in our area than it is to rent in our area. And as soon as our millennials get wind of that, and there are a lot of them that are out there, as soon as they realize they can save money paying a mortgage and they actually are creating equity and creating wealth for their future and their family, there's going to be more of them out in the marketplace. But until the interest rates get past that sweet spot, which I think is 6%, we're not going to see a huge influx of inventory right now because someone who bought their home in 2019, they have $150,000 worth of equity, but their payment is based on a 2.75% interest rate. Even if they hate their house right now, they can't rationalize leaving that house and going for something else. But once we get to 6%, a little bit less, it might happen. So later in the year, maybe in the summertime, we may see more inventory come up. I do want to say that we had the lowest number of homes sell in our market in 2023 than we have in the last eight years. Now, on a national scale, on the national scale, we had as many homes sell in 2023 as did in 1993. And I don't know about you, I don't even need to quote numbers, but I'm pretty sure the United States of America's population has increased a lot since 1993. That was 30 years ago. So the last time the nation saw sales at this level was 1993. Shows you that we are better off in the Fredericksburg area. Last time we saw sales at this number was in 2015. Okay, so it hasn't been 30 years since we saw a number like this. So we're actually doing a lot better here in the Northern Virginia, Fredericksburg area than the majority of the country is. So I want to give you confidence in knowing that this next year, 2023, excuse me, 2024 is going to be a fabulous year. And in looking at the numbers, 2023 really wasn't that bad. Not only uh, were the numbers about average, we did have low inventory, but one of the challenges with having low inventory is our population has increased and the population of real estate agents has increased as well. So we had in 2015, we had a lot fewer real estate agents out in the marketplace than we do now. And when a real estate agent is talking about how they feel about the market, not necessarily what the facts are about the market, it's harder for a real estate agent to get clients. It's harder for a real estate agent to secure a listing. With all the real estate agents that are out there, there's a lot of competition. And so a lot of agents who just aren't getting the business are communicating that it's really bad. But for those of us who are working in the trenches, who are doing business, who have listings, who are representing buyers, who are getting clients' uh, contracts accepted, who are helping their sellers get their houses ready to go and staging them and getting contractors out there to fix the floor and all those things before we sell, 
we really know what's going on. And not only is it a feeling of what's going on, but the facts say that everything is good. So take the information with a grain of salt. It really isn't that bad out there. Even if you're a buyer, it's not that bad out there. Keep that in mind. So if you or someone you know is thinking about buying or selling in the Fredericksburg area or moving out of the area to be closer to family in another part of the country, reach out. I'd love to connect you with an agent in another part of the country if that's where you're headed to, or if you're going to be moving here or moving within the area, I'd love to connect with you to learn more about your needs and see how best my team and I can help you out. I hope you have a great 2024 and I will have another market update next month. Bye.